Hello, my name is Peter Drexler, and today I would like to talk to you about the backup tool called Duplicacy. So firstly, why should you do backups? You should do backups because data loss happens. It happens due to human errors. People just modify files in a way that they should not have by mistake. People delete files by mistake. But also hardware failures happen. Your hard drive can just stop working because it had a, it had it had an issue. It can stop working because somebody spilled some liquid over your laptop or over the server. Software failures happen as well. We all write software which contains bugs, so it's good to be prepared for that. But also my personal experience um, is that throughout few or probably seven years of managing one, one website, I had to restore data probably once a year. Some kind of data loss happened. It might have been my mistake, but just I'm not sure if you want to trust yourself to be perfect and never make a make a software failure. Okay, so let's go on. So what do you want from your backup tool? These things are the most important in my opinion. You want it to be able to run on schedule. You want incremental backups, which means that you don't want all of your data to be copied every night. You want only the changed parts of your data to be copied and stored. Next is file history. You want to be look at uh, the different versions of one file throughout, throughout time. And next one is cloud support. So you never want to store your backups on the same device as your, as your data. So usually what you would do is to upload them to some cloud provider and the backup software needs to be able to do this. I, I found two software, two backup softwares that I think are good. One is Restic, the other one is Duplicacy. Restic is completely open source. It does not offer compression, um, but it is completely free. And another one is Duplicacy, which I find a bit easier to work with. It offers uh, it offers compression, it is free for personal use, and for commercial use it costs $50 per year. But also that comes with a web version, so you can access your backups and make backups through your web browser. Okay, so these are the storage backends that Duplicacy supports. You can backup your data to SFTP server, to Amazon S3 compatible storage. So Amazon S3 is today de facto standard for object storage. Then another another one, this is one I would like to highlight, Backblaze B2. It's a very cheap, uh, really only storage provider. It do, they do not provide virtual machines or anything like that. They are only focused on storage and they provide, provide it very cheaply. It costs half cent per gigabyte per month. So that's something you might want to look at. And all of these storages are supported by Duplicacy. So now let's do a demo. I have some files here which are really important and I do not want to lose them. So what I need to do for them to be backed up is I need to initialize this folder with Duplicacy. So first I need to give this backup a name. So I will just call it test. And now I want to, I need to say where I want these that data to be backed up. So this would be URL of, of the remote server. You can use SFTP, you can use Amazon S3. This is what the URL would look like if you were to use Amazon S3. But for the, for the purposes of this demonstration, I will just use, use a folder on my machine. So I have a folder here, which is empty right now, but I will copy it and paste it here. So now what happened is that my folder got initialized. It has now some basic file structure, which Duplicacy will use for storing my backups. And my, my, 
with my files, I have now here a folder called dot duplicacy, which contains just some settings. But now we are ready. We are dead, ready to make backups. So I can just do duplicacy backup. And a backup has been made. So these data will not be lost. If now I delete them, I can restore them. But let's just do a few more backups. And now what we will do is change change this, this file for their blah, blah, blah. OK. Do some more backups. And now change it again. So just some gibberish. More backups. OK. So now we come one day and we realize that this file contains gibberish, but it should contain something else. So what we can do at this point is we can we can look at the file history of this file. And now I see that this file has been changed with this revision, this revision, and this revision. So what I can do now is I can just see what the change has been. So I want to compare this file with revision number seven. Oh, so I, now I see that in the previous revision there was blah, blah, blah there, but now there is some gibberish there. Okay, so I'm decided now I want to, I want to restore the file and I want to restore it to revision number seven and just this file. It already exists, so I need to specify override option to continue. Okay, so now my file contains blah, 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 which is correct. Okay, so this was a short demonstration of how you can backup and restore your files. Uh, this was all done on something like production server. But what you could also do is you can create you can create on your local machine you can initialize initialize it with exactly the same as you did your production server. And then what will happen is that now you can restore the folder, the content of this folder of this local machine to the same or any revision as you have on the server. So now the restore has happened. The data has been downloaded from, from my backup storage. And I, this is on my local machine, so I can work with these files and now determine if they contain the issue or if they are fine and just go on from there. Okay, so this was a demo. And now Duplicacy has a few more features. It offers to backup to multiple backends. So you can backup to both SFTP and Amazon S3 compatible storage. It offers the duplication which means that if you have, have some file in your in your data twice, it will only take up storage for one file. It, it offers compression. It's actually enabled by default. So all your data are compressed and therefore the backups cost you less in, in the terms of storage space and it offers concurrent access. So that is all I wanted to talk to you about today and thank you for attention.